What's going on, viewers from the internet? I'm Variety Gamer95 back for some more costume quests. All right, all right. So last time we were actually thrust straight into Fall Valley. We got a costume stolen. We had to get them back. So in doing so, we got the French fry costume, which is right here, right here. There it is. And we managed to score a couple of creepy treats, and we got our costumes back. All right. This time, now that we actually have our costumes and tickets to the carnival, let's enter. <clears throat> we all have costumes and tickets now. May we come in? No, that wasn't so hard, was it? Oh, by the way, the Ferris wheel was broken. Take this constellation costume pattern before I change my mind. Have fun at the carnival. The vampire costume pattern. Okay. And we leveled up from that. Nice. Yes, yeah, because of the experience we gained. It was just enough. Dorian, huh? And here you are. Who are you? Let's see here. A helpful cat, mysterious scarecrow. So he's the guy who is controlling the scarecrows we've been seeing, huh? Yeah, this guy's actually the brother of Dorsella. He does look like her. Are they twins? Just like Ren and Randall? Let's see here. <clears throat> she needs to be brought to her senses. But I can't be the one to do it. Right, because we're the ones who are doing all the hard work all this time. Let's see. Because she's really mean and I'm totally afraid of her. Let's see. So I guess she's the older sibling? Let's see. So... We need to get to the top of the Ferris wheel, but it's broken. <clears throat> All's fair that ends fair. Okay, let's see here. Look at this. Let's see... Oh, wow. How did those clowns get up here anyway? Huh. A hug? Greaves! <laughs> but there's not really not much we can do about it right now, because we can't get up there. Oh! Okay! Uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking, shouldn't that have triggered a fight? Because I was going to go talk to the guy. <clears throat> okay, so I was correct. I thought the game crashed. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I, I thought the game crashed. Oh, God. Let's see. Who would be the worst one to deal with? Uh, sure. I mean, they've all got a crap load of health, to be fair. Let's see here. Just gotta take down those guys. I will stun the Trobog Bruiser, I guess. Let's see. Why? I, I actually think you said he has some more battle stamps to sell to us. Once we get a little bit further. Hopefully not too much further. Okay. B. Alright, Spearmaster is down. Yep. I swear, I don't, I don't like that it freezes sometimes. I really don't. Now, stun the bruiser again. Right, B. Okay. So, he's stunned. The missile barrage is ready. Let's use it. Okay. Chobo bruiser is almost down. Let's target him. X. Let's see. I The burn should take him out, so I'm going to go for the guardsman next. Let's see here. Yeah, they'll take him out. Yep. Right. X. Nice dodge. Alright. Y. Alright, next hit will do him in. Y. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, another misfortune cookie and a chocolate hamburger. I saw the brown burger and I was going to say pookie. Oh my god. Uh, what do you have to say, sir? It's ruined. Ruined! I don't think we'll ever be able to fix the damage that was done to this control panel. Sorry, kids. The Ferris will be closed for a very long time. We have to find another way. Come on, let's look around this carnival some more. If only we could fly. Let's see. Uh, you were going to your chest, sir. And I'd like to get it. Let's see. So that is one of the cost materials for the vampire. Let's see, well, we can't do anything with the control panel. I want to pop the balloons. Oh, yes, we can't actually do that. Okay. Uh, well, free candy, I guess. 
Hey, look, we could buy for some apples. Here are some more houses that we could trick or treat from. Or I guess tents in this case. So another chest, some more candy. See, you were one of the hide and seek kids. How many have we found so far? Just one. Wow. What did that say? Something fishy is afoot at the carnival. Find a dramatically different way up. Right? Uh, you're not one of the hide and seek kids. I'm mistaken. Let's see. What is in this chest? Some more candy. Okay. <clears throat> I remember finding the rest of the vampire costume set. Uh, took a little bit of thinking. Let's see. So we have some more houses to trick or treat in. We have the uh, this guy standing here. Uh, let's do the bobbing for apples. That's what I was looking for. Bobbing for apples. Let's see. This is the third and final bobbing for apples minigame. <clears throat> All right. So we have to score thirty points. Let's see here. Uh, I could really go for that green one. That's not green! That's a green! Shit! I thought that was green! Nah! That got me good! I thought that was green, man! And the shading! Okay, come on. You're really not helping me, game. Okay, there's another green one. Alright. I cannot believe I managed to salvage that. Wow. Okay. We got for candy. More candy. Alright. No one is safe for candy. You got that right. Not even the adults. Because I eat Twizzlers all the time nowadays, man. Maybe not once this goes up. So 35 points. Come on, keep those green ones coming, game. Oh, yeah, keep those green ones coming. Ho oh, ho, boy. I'm having apples tonight! Oh, yes! Yes! Keep the green ones coming! Ugh! Oh! Oh, man! This is so good! Oh, man! What a string of green apples! That was some seriously good luck, man! Let's see. They're all the company? Are they now? Alright. Here is the last Bombing for Apples minigame. We had to score 40 points. And this one's going to be pretty tough. Oh, but if I have some good luck like that... Come on. Uh, they disappear quick. Okay, don't get don't get the apple core, Joseph. Ah, come on. Alright, prioritize the green ones because they'll get 3 points. I don't know why I didn't get that one. Crap! Okay. 33. Alright, 37. That's game. That's also all the Bobby for Apples games. Let's see. The Sugar Bucket Creepy Treat Card. Sugar Bucket, not Bucket. Let's see. So, for completing all the Bobby for Apples minigames, you get an achievement. Let's see here. Greetings, little ones. I am Orzo, the cannon toss oddball. Prepare to be astonished as I climb to this cannon and explode through the air at inconceivable speeds. Your name sounds like a menu item at a kitschy Italian restaurant. Well, a great human cannon is named after pasta, this tradition. Do you think it would be okay for us to use a cannon to get to the top of the Ferris wheel? No! The cannon may only be used by a professional, and I, Orzo, am the only person here who is skilled enough to withstand a tremendous blast. If you're a professional, does that mean you're licensed and insured? Look, there's a reason I'm not doing this act, act in Vegas, kid. So we had to turn invisible. You see? Because now he's no longer blocking our way. There we go. <laughs> in this county, huh? Okay, so yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. I actually had to look this up my first time through, believe it or not. Uh oh, did that girl say she knows algebra? We're coming for you, monsters! And we're gonna kick your ass! <clears throat> All 
All right, time for the human cannonballs to do some literal ass kicking. Let's see here. The monk, of course, is the healer. <sighs> Again, I. <sighs> That's just really annoying. That even because even if I stun one of them, uh, two of them would just get an attack in. A. Yeah, seriously, you would think that guy could cause a burn with those grenades. You know, a giant bomb, essentially. Let's stun him. Okay. B. Hey, okay, he's stunned. The missile barrage is ready. Let's use it. Okay, nice. That did 181 to the grenadier. Wow. Why? Hmm, of course I didn't take him out. Oh, you know what? The burn will take him out. Uh, No, let's attack him. I don't need a heal. Let's see here. There goes one. There we go. Hey, damn it. Wrong button again. X. Okay. Yo, another gloop. And old lady fingers, huh? All right now we're up top. You already feel his body. How are you guys gonna get down though? That's what I want to know. Okay, so we have to come up here because of this. There we go. So that's where we need to go. Oh, here we go. Let's see. We did it! I'm glad we figured out a clever way to how to get down for this first fellow that was both plausible and practical. Okay, fine. I'm willing to suspend my disbelief just this once. Okay, uh, I have no idea how we did that. But, sure. You! You have made a mockery of me and ruined the name Orzo forever! I would never live this down! I swear to one day have, my have revenge! But sorry for ruining your act, Orzo, but we had to do that to save those kids. It's alright, I'm all talk. You guys have a happy Halloween. Wow, he took that rather well. Uh, let's do some more trick-or-treating before we move forward, shall we? Alright. Trick-or-treat! At the carnival! Alright. I always thought those adults have a, a pickle nose. <laughs> That's what they're wearing, you know? Does it not look like one? A pickle to you guys? What? There we go. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to hit these blue stamps or whatever they are. Alright, more trick-or-treating at the carnival. Let's see. They all just say the same thing, huh? Okay. That's 11 of the 16. Get out of the way, balloon! Okay. Seriously, get out of the way! Alright, trick-or-treat! Wow, that is quite a scary costume. <laughs> Perfect for a carnival. Okay. Let's do some more fighting. It's fighting time, everybody. Alright. It's a party and these guys ain't invited. Let's get rid of them. B. Alright, nice damage output. X. He's gone. So the mystic... Yeah, you need to be stunned. Alright, so he's stunned. B! Nice dodge! Alright, let's take how it start wailing down the assassin. Uh, wailing on the assassin. Okay, A! I'm not gonna trust my luck. Let's stun the mystic again. Okay, so he's stunned. B! Nice dodge! Let's do a missile barrage. Oh, it took them both out! Oh man, that's insane! Coconuts and bolts. Ugh. I don't know if I want to eat that, just saying. Okay, so that's 12. Alright, trick or treat! Open up! That's the scariest costume I've seen all night. <laughs> You've been waiting for us, huh? Alright, time for some more fighting. 
We ain't playing cards here. We're here to do some fighting. Ugh. Another damn medic. Let's see. Even at level 7, he still doesn't have too much health. Right. Nice damage up. But X! Almost pressed the wrong button. Let's stun. Yeah, stun the bombardier. Okay. B! 41. Ugh. That's still quite a bit of damage, man. Uh, yes. Uh, hit the assassin. A? Y? There we go. Top. Stun you again. Right, negative face is really coming in handy. Ready? B! Nice. Okay, he's stunned. The missile barrage should be ready. Let's use it. Okay. Pretty respectful damage all around. Uh, A. Yeah, I might be lucky enough to take them both out. Let's see here. Yeah, I'll finish them off. One's down. There goes the other. Awesome. Clippings? Ugh. And more unicorn pellets. Those clippings, man. They do not sound promising. Let's see, but we only have a few more creepy tree cards to collect. Just four more, we can find out what, what we'll get. Right. Some more trick-or-treating. Some more monsters to fight. Okay, what are we dealing with this time? Uh, it's all, there's always got to be a medic involved, doesn't there? Alright, let's get rid of the Grub and Shaman then. B! Alright, <laughs> 64, uh huh? Uh, I don't know who's going to be worse to deal with. You got more health. So I guess I'll stun you. Let's see here. Why? Alright, A? Let's see, I guess I'll split my focus between these guys. Let's do Ryan negative face on him again. Alright, so he's stunned. Why? Alright, missile barrage time, baby. Let's go! Alright, well, the bro would definitely take him out. A! Alright, both these guys are pretty much done. Let's see. Basic attack. Alright, one's down. And there's the other. Okay. Nice, the second street choose. Okay. Let's see, so that leaves just two more houses to trick or treat out, I believe. Yep. And we have a second street choose. If I can get over there. There we go. So now that we have a second street choose, creepy treat, we can go back and talk to the kid. If I can actually find the exit. Okay, there it goes. Go back and talk to the kid. There's a monster. Alright, uh, let's turn invisible then slip right past him. Ugh, that's dirty, man. Right, here we go. Let's see, in case you're wondering. Okay, I've got a street shoes card for you, but you haven't promised to call me bra anymore. No way. You get no way. You can totally take my mice crispy treat card for that for it then. Thanks, Brosoff. That's the quest complete. Um, mice crispy chews. Oh, mice crispy treat. Why did I say chews? A uh, mice crispy treat. <laughs> oh man. Uh. I don't know if I want to eat a mouse, just saying. Alright, let's go ahead and slip past this guy, because I don't feel like doing any more fighting. At least not yet. But we have the way forward, and once we do that, we can unlock a shortcut. Let's see. Let's see. So, once again, we need this. Let's see. Bet you didn't think that I was going to see some use again, huh? Okay, so we have another kid who's looking for a creeper treat. Unicorn pet, that's convenient. Yeah, I got one. Here you go. Got it. Here's a card that you need. Thanks. All right, that was that was quite convenient, man. That I already had that. 
So that just leaves two more creepy trees to find. Uh. Oh, barf roll-ups. That's the one that we got. Ew. It even looks like a freaking tongue, too. Can you guys see that? <laughs> All right. Let's see here. So we could break this and open up a shortcut. There we go. So here is one of the hide-and-seek kids. That was only the second one. Ugh. Uh, I, I, I think that's actually it, right? Oh, no. Uh, Yeah, I was correct. Let's see. So these are, I believe, the last three stamps that we can get from Sadie. Two ply toilet paper. Applies an attackable stun to a single enemy for two turns. Let's see. Yodeling Black Widow. Terrified Bloody Great Chance. Cause single enemy to flee. And Moldy Pumpkin Guts. Toxic Slime Effect. Attacks do splash damage may apply a dot. See, I'm not going to have much use for these things. So, we can go inside this cave here that we need to illuminate. Let's see here. So, I think back here... Yes, here we go. This is another part of the uh, vampire costume. Okay. So here we have a shortcut back to where we just were. And you know something? I don't think we need that anymore. Or... Yeah, we don't. Okay. See, so we saw that there was a monster up here. Let's use the ninja to sneak by him. And there's the, the scarecrow for the last time. Let's see. You know, we're giving you this? The leaves. And that's the pumpkin costume. Yeah. Oh, we got a speaker from the big black gate. Let's see. What does it do? Okay. Let's uh, see. As for the pumpkin costume, let me see here. Classic Halloween Jack-O-Lantern come to life. Focus, atta focus attack, range type, combat ability, all Hollow's Eve. Powerful tornado that cuts all enemies' health in half. No exploration ability. Let's see. I do believe that there are a couple other things. There's a fence there. I do believe there are a couple other things we should get. The best hiding place, dude. You are so obvious. Anyway, I do believe that is the way forward. So, I don't want to do that quite yet. Alright, let's open this chest. Hey! There's the last of the vampire material. The white makeup. There we go. Now we're a scary vampire. Okay. So, just two more costume materials to complete. Fall Valley and the Creeper Tree Car Collection. I see the vampire source a sorceress being who subsists by feeding on the life essence of living creatures. Attack focus, magic type, combat ability. There's a bat over here. Flock of bats attacks all enemies, turns health to the party. No exploration ability. Okay. So that's yet another way that you can recover health in this game. It's not too often you come across something like that, you know. Okay, there are still a couple of kids with that we need to uh find for hide and seek I'm gonna slip by that guy and put on the robot costume let's see here there are also a couple of houses that were missing All right, you know what I think we're supposed to trick-or-treat all the houses to oh, to progress right let's see so uh, you know something I actually don't remember where everything is across the planet uh Keep dreaming power, you're gonna need it. <laughs> Since we haven't explored what's over here yet. Chest! More candy, 100 pieces. Let's see, it looks like you can go deeper in there, but you actually can't. That's as far as the game will allow. Come on. Here's one of the hide and seek kids over here. Let's see, her name is Emily, huh? That's four out of six. See, yeah, I don't think... I don't hear you, guy. Let's hold B and sneak by him. 
see, you know what? I think there's actually another guy over here. Yeah, there is. That's 100% correct. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's another spot that we could traverse over here. Or, no, I'm wrong. I'm mistaken. I thought you can go over there for some reason. Alright, let's re-equip the ninja costume. Yeah, I don't think I can't hear you, guy. Yeah. Oh, we can actually get candy from that. Okay. Not that hitting that again really did us any good. Here's one of the hide-and-seek kids. Your legs are starting to hurt, huh? So that's five out of six. I wonder how she managed to evade attention from the monsters, huh? These crows, like you keep saying that they are. Uh, you know, speaking of eating a bird and a frog meat, I don't know how much to segue into this. Um, I remember hearing, uh, I think it went over this in Battletoads, I think it was. I remember hearing that frog legs taste like chicken, but I've never actually tried them for myself. I gotta be honest, I don't know where I'd actually be able to find such a, such a dish. Uh, there aren't any restaurants in my area that I know of that actually have uh, frog legs. See, I, I guess it's not really that much of a shortcut, this right here. All I know is that it's obviously one of the hide-and-seek kids. I could have sworn there was a pier that you could walk, off, walk on to, but maybe that was my imagination. Hell, uh... We're actually missing some of the uh, houses. Alright, let's uh, sneak past this guy again. He's just going to come right back. Yeah, see? You can actually notice the kids looking at him, too. Not the unicorn. Oh, yeah, we actually can't move forward. Excellent customer service, they say, huh? We look forward to hearing from you. Okay, so we're actually still missing a couple houses. Houses and tents. And, you know, I gotta be honest, I actually don't remember where exactly they're at. Hey, I listen to all those voices. We can actually hear some chatter going on. At least I can. I don't know if you guys can. How did I miss that? Oh my god! I missed them both! Wow, Joseph, that was the most obvious thing! Uh, how did I miss that? Hey, yay. Hey. Oh, this is the last trick or treating. This is also the last of the fighting. It's like I know my luck. Okay. I'm also going to have to search for that last hide-and-seek kid because, uh, I gotta be honest, I don't remember where they're at. I missed it? Yeah, you need to go first. So you're just going to buff everybody. And you, sir, are not going to be allowed to do that. You're gone. Guards of the Bruiser. Stun the Bruiser, I guess. Okay. A. Nice dodge. All right, let's see here. Uh, it almost looked like the Ferris wheel was moving. I did not mean to target that guy. I meant to target the guardsmen. A. Yeah, knowing my luck, that wouldn't have finished him off. Okay. A. Nice dodge. All right. Let's do the missile barrage again. Very well. B. Damn it! Uh, well, it doesn't matter. The burn's gonna take him out regardless. There we go. They're both gone. Another barf roll ups, huh? There we go. Now that everything is liberated of candy, uh, we can actually move forward. They're still of the kind, huh? 
Alright, so those guys are actually going to be going home. Fortunately, I don't think that's the last we'll see of these monsters. Yeah, because I could hear footsteps. Okay. I need to find the... Here it is. Wait, no! This is it right here, yeah! Hold on, I don't... Well, that's not really a ramp that we can skate off of, so to speak. Oh, a chest! More candy, okay. 20 pieces of candy. Uh, you know what? I actually don't remember where the last hide and seek kit is. I do remember that I can buy some more battle stamps. Uh, sure. I'm gonna end up buying them all eventually. So, wait. Where's the last hide and seek kit? I really feel like I've looked everywhere and I can't find them. Because I have 5 out of 6. Also got to keep an eye out for that last monster. Yeah, because I could hear... F What's his name? That's right. I forgot that there was a kid named Yoshi in this game. Huh. How cute. Yeah, I can hear your footsteps, good sir. So let's slip by. Okay, I'm not going to let go of B until it's fully safe to do so. Uh, you know what? You know something? I'm actually wondering if maybe I should just do this off camera. I can always put up a video. Hey, look, the Ferris wheel is operational again. How in how interesting. Huh. I can always capture a video of me finding this kid. Because I gotta be honest, I don't remember where they're at. Uh no, you wouldn't happen to be it, would you? Oh my god, Joseph. Again, with missing the obvious. How did I not see him? Let's see, it's made of real bats, huh? So, that is all the hide-and-seek games. And that is all of the uh, candy bag upgrades. There we go. It's all four of them. It even gave us plus ten to our attack power. Nicely done. I pressed the wrong button again. Okay. Funny how I'm suffering from damn you muscle memory for a completely different reason. Okay. Wow. Well, we were actually almost done with the game, guys. This is pretty much the final stretch. I told you it wasn't too terribly long. I'm not letting go of the B button until you stop moving, good sir. There we go. Alright. So, next time on Costume Quest, now that this last gate is open, we're going to see what's beyond it. See you then.